Alright, I popped uh, the toilet seats out and the tile out. I'm going to have to do a uh, dome the back of the tile. Well, I'm not going to dome it. I'm just going to fill it in because there's some little pieces here and there that the glitter is thin on the back. And if you hold it up to light, you can see through it. I'm going to put felt on it anyway, but I don't want to see color variations. So I'm going to uh, brush on some resin on the back with the... Um, the glitter mix that I made up for the um, tile itself. I had a lot left over so I just poured it in an empty bottle. I keep all my empty bottles so I can put my glitter mixes in them. And uh, yeah, I don't know what's up with her eyeball, but she, she, I don't know if she's got something in it or what, but she doesn't, she won't open it and it's snotty. Thanks. Make sure you put that in the dirty clothes. Sorry, my daughter was wiping the cat's eye she her eye she wouldn't open it it was like it was gunky and closed so I had her get a damp rag and clean it clean it out so anyway back to what I was saying um, these are the toilet seats that popped out the one that has the jellyfish bubble on it the mold I don't know if you can tell by looking at it but the mold you can see the big lump right there see I have to sand that down and then I'm gonna have to um, brush on some more resin with some glitter in it to fix the area that I'm gonna sand because it's gonna be all scratched up but um I, mean, I can fix it it's not issues it's just a lot more work but if you can see if you can tell on this side where the the mold buckled so it has a dip see you can see with the light there where it caved in right there so I have to sand all the, the bubble off the back to be flat and now I'm gonna have to pour resin on this hole right here look can you tell how my finger goes down into the hole it's like a crater there it's like it had like the, it's produced so much heat it like sucked it the mold in and it collapsed right there so it collapsed here and then popped out the other side freaking ridiculous so I, I don't like the toilet seats I won't be doing them again too much work too much resin and too much hassle so this is the piece the lid to the one I had done um, with the potpourri and stuff and you see I just put little birds nests and potpourri and um, a doily in there which I think it would have came out cute had the mold not did what it did because not only did it collapse it and screw it up where I have to fix it on both sides but it pulled all the glitter the the metal leafing to pulled it into certain areas and this whole gap here has no glitter behind it so it all distorted all that too it sucks so now the toilet seat itself I really like how it came out but I mean, what good is that if you don't have a matching lid? You know what I mean? So, but this is the toll. I know the lighting is kind of crappy in here. So, this is the toilet seat. And I think it's really pretty. I really like it. It's got little birds' eggs and nests in there. And it's got all this potpourri and seed pods. Um, seed pods and uh, leaves and stuff in it. It's really pretty. I like it. And the gold accents in the back is really pretty too. So I, I would actually use this toilet seat. But I would want a matching lid. So unless I can fix that lid, I'm not pouring another one. So, um, yeah. I guess you could always pour maybe just a clear one. Or maybe just pour a clear one with the glitter flakes in it. And just leave it like that. Because the lid's gonna, the lid is mostly up all the time, anyways. Very rarely do you close the lid. I mean, you keep this down, but the lid itself doesn't really close it often. But anyway, um, this is the candy one. It came out nice. Um, these suckers are heavy. These toilet seats are heavy. If anybody has this mold and they're thinking of doing it, I would advise not to fill up the mold. Fill it up halfway or 60% of 
because I mean that thickness right there to my thumbnail is as thick as you need it you don't need a seat that thick I mean it's not gonna hurt it'll definitely be a sturdy seat you won't have to worry about it cracking or anything but this sucker is heavy and if you want to consider shipping them oh my god that sucker heavy so but I mean it came out really cool it came out fine um a couple of the um, gummy bears looks like the white ones are the ones that did it this orange one if you look you see the orange around the gummy bear it kind of heated up so much it melted the color a little bit so there's like a little puddle of orange around the gummy bear and then that white gummy bear there it just looks like a blob see it pretty much melted it's just a big white booger looking thing so um, and that purple one see how it kind of faded a little bit too so and that red one I think that was a jelly bean Nope, it was a gummy. They're all gummy bears that did that. So, a um, little bit of advice on that one, too. The gummy bears um, like to melt. And another thing I noticed on the gummy bears is um, if you put any in the first layer of resin, don't put any in the first layer of resin. Do at least two layers of resin before you put the gummy bears. I don't know what it did. It only did it with the gummy bears. It didn't do it with anything else. But the ones that are on the very top layer, the little feet and nose and the little pieces, I have to go. I have to go back in and and I have to steal this with the resin again because there's a couple little areas where the feet are poking. I can feel it's not like completely coated right there so I have to seal this and resin again in order to use it because I'm not going to leave it like that and use it you know what I mean I'm not going to be using this anyway my daughter might take this one because um, I don't think I'd ever sell these simply for the fact that what I'd have to ask for them to make just what I spent in making them back without even making a profit for my labor nobody's going to buy them I wouldn't pay that much for a toilet seat so I don't expect somebody else to because the amount of gallon that went into gallons of resin that I used in order to I'd have to ask 150 bucks just to recoup the cost of the resin and the candy and the materials I used to make it yeah it sucks don't it yeah so I won't be I won't be doing these again I just thought it would be cool I wanted to try something big and I it's out of my system now I'm done <laughs> I won't be doing it again the tiles is as big as I'm going from now on I might do a, a game table or something for my porch I want to do but that's for personal use and that's easy because you you can just put masking tape around the perimeter of the table the edging and then just pour resin in it it levels itself out and then you use a a torch to get the bubbles out so that's not even hard this stuff was ridiculous but that's the toilet seat let me see if I can lift this sucker up yeah they're heavy y'all telling you they're heavy so that's the toilet seat move it away from the light so you can see a little bit better they're heavy they're really heavy let me tell you something if this lid was to fall on a guy when he was using the toilet he would be hurting put it that way he would be He'd probably be a girl after that. Yeah. Just saying. You know. If y'all make these. Don't, don't fill them all the way up. Because you could hurt yourself with the lids. But um. I won't be making any more so. I mean. I'm not disappointed with the candy one as much. The, the big gummy bears in the lid. Every one of them faded. I put four big ones in. And every one of them has a, a ring around them of the color that the gummy bear was see it's like a little puddle it's like the wicked witch I'm melting yeah they all melted but I mean it was cool it was fun it was great I'll never do it again so that's them done they're heavy as heck um, I probably will just store them in my shop or something they'll never be used I probably won't even attempt to fix that one I'll probably just stick it away and forget about it um, I'm so over the toilet seats now <laughs> beyond over the toilet seats I do however like this one I would really use that one I really would but I don't have a matching lid because I, I don't know if I'm willing to do all the work to repair that one so yeah 
Plus, I'm not real crazy about the doily thing. I'm not a, well, I'm not saying I'm not a doily. I have doilies on some antique end tables I have, but that's just to protect them from drinks. So, um, but that's not my thing. This is cool, but the doily is a little too, too not my scene. Not, I'm not going to say old fashioned because there's certain things I would consider myself old fashioned about, but it's just not my thing, you know? So I don't know what possessed me. I just, I was looking for something big to put in the middle and the doily crossed my mind. So I figured with the potpourri that would go well to, as a set. And I mean, it doesn't go bad. It's just, I think what really disappoints me about the whole thing is it didn't come out the way I wanted it. So I'm like, when I just, things don't come out the way I want it, I'm like, I move on very quickly. I just put it behind me, you know, I don't even try to fix it. I just, okay, let me get rid of it. <laughs> so. I know it's terrible, but that's the way it is. This is the tile. It came out really nice. Let's see if I can put it over here so you can see it. It came out really good. I'm happy with it. I really like the cherry blossom trees that I did in the background. They are pretty. Let's see if I can get it to focus. I know the lighting's bad, y'all. I'm sorry. So, I think you can see them. They're pretty. And then, um, those, some cherry blossom stickers and some clouds and dragonfly. There's a little bird on that branch there. Two little birds. And then, the clouds and the dragonflies and the butterflies. And then there's another little bird right there next to her and then she has an apple in her dress apron there um and then there's another apple hanging from that tree there which i know it's a cherry blossom tree it was really kind of stupid of me to do that but it's done nothing i can do about it um and then the um the dwarfs and all the different layers of i don't know if the layers show up on the camera or not but so you can see the different layers that way of the flowers and stuff so there's many different layers of flowers and different types. There's mushrooms in there. There's a baby deer. Um, there's another mushroom over that way. Um, and there's Snow White. So it, I think it came out really nice, but this is what I'm talking about with the glitter. See how there's gaps? How it's thin? I don't like that. So even though I'm going to cover it with felt, the felt will be a different if I put blue felt, the blue will be a different color than the blues I've used in the glitter. I use a mixture of blues, greens, and whites in the glitter. So, um, I'm going to mix a cup, a small batch of resin, a couple ounces, maybe probably, yeah, two ounces. And I'll just pour some blanks with the extra of some pieces I want to make more molds of. So, um, I'm going to do that on the back. And this is the glitter mix. It's the same glitter, so... I will pour half of this in a little little cup of resin. I mix up a little thing and then pour it on the back here. Let that set up. And then when it dries, I'll felt it and it'll be ready to go. I'm going to hang this one. It's big because, let me, let me get the one of the other um, small ones. This, let me get this one and uh, show you the difference in size. There you go. There's a difference in size. So this is a big tile. This is the smaller oval I do. So, um, yeah, it's definitely more than double the size. Um, because that pink bowl is the one I use for the um, small oval. And then that's the casserole dish I used for this. And um, they are silicone. I had somebody ask me they thought it was like a porcelain. It's a silicone. It's shiny silicone. They come out just like this. I don't have to gloss them, which I love. I'm all about the shiny silicone. So, and I don't think you could see this one really good on the film the other day. So I'm going to go ahead and just show it real quick. So, um, it's got spider in the bottom there it's got a poison bottle there the spider is hanging on a string a web and then there's um that skull there and then there's a centipede 
or millipede, whatever you call it. And then there's this Snow White skeleton girl, zombie girl. And then I hung a bitten apple charm on that one. And it's felted with red felt. Um, so yeah, that's that one. So um, I just wanted to um, show the pieces I popped out. Nothing fancy, but um, I, I like the tile though. It came out nice. It's just like I said, I want to fill in those areas where, because if you look at it like this, it doesn't look like there's any thin areas at all. And I know I'm going to felt it, and so it's not going to be, you're not going to be able to see through it with a light, but still, trust me, you'll be able to see a difference in color, and that'll irk me. So, um, that has to be done. I, I can't consciously let that stay like that. So, um, and then I did a few extra little pieces here. I did, I have to paint this up. I just popped these out this morning. So, um, there's the gumball machine I made. I have to paint it all up, but the gumball, the little gumballs came out nice. So, I'll paint that up. And then this one here. It's got a little fox on it. I think this fox tattoo glows in the dark. Um, but I have to glaze it. This is one of the molds that comes out really dull. It's one of these little silicone. I, I'm all about the shiny silicone now. I, I, don't, I don't like glazing at all. So, um, and then these. These are glow in the dark pieces. The pink is a UV dye so a black light in UV it will glow and then it also glows in the dark so it'll glow under black light and UV light and it will also glow in the dark so and it has to be glazed yet too so but it has the sparklies in it it's really sparkly it'll be really pretty once I glaze it and you'll be able to see the tattoo itself is glittery as well so um, you'll be able to see it better once I glaze it and these, I just did the tattoos on top. I didn't put them in the resin. I'll seal them onto the resin when I glaze it. And then there's this dragonfly one. And I will glaze these and dress them up with some rhinestones and stuff. Um, and this one I was going to use, but I don't know. I might put it on that piece there and put some bubbles and rhinestones around it. I think that would be pretty. So this is like a cameo backing to set your to glue your cameo itself onto, which is really cool. That's jeweled lizard. And then um, these are little ponies, little tiny ponies. I have to paint them as well, the little faces and the hair and stuff. But they're little. They're like, see the length of the first joint of my finger. So these would make like perfect earring size. Or a little extra charm to hang off of a piece, you know, or something like that. And then I did some more um, little cabochons. This this girl, which I don't know why I like it. It's really cool, but she's holding a jellyfish, which I think is really kind of weird. I don't know why she's holding a jellyfish up over her head, but uh, it's cool. And then there's this one. She's got some type of... Um, She's sitting on some big conch shell. She's like some type of sea goddess or something. And then this one says, kick your heels up with a boot in the background. And then um, Tiana, Disney princess. And then um, another cameo back to put another cameo in. I mean, I like, I'm liking the cameos too. And then some little um, gummies that I had extra resin, so I poured into that, which is the UV slash glow in the dark resin too. So um, most of these pieces have to be painted or glazed, so they're not anywhere near done. And then I made this. This is a jewel lizard um, mold too. I really like it. It came out that shiny, which it is flipping awesome. Go Megan with your shiny molds. I'm loving it. Um, so I don't even have to glaze that piece because it's actually pretty shiny. The glitter pulled from the edge a little bit, which sucks. So, but I mean, can't do anything about that now. I hate it when it does that. 
you don't wait till it's tacky enough, it you have to babysit it. And I didn't come back in time, so. But I put hers and his. So, those are cute. Little boyfriend, girlfriend pendants or whatever. And that's it. That's all I did. So, let's say that's all I did. Like, it wasn't that much. That shit right there took forever. But, um. But I, I, thought, I said I would show, so I've showed. And I hope y'all enjoy. And I will talk to everybody soon. Bye.